Welcome. Today we're moving through a heart-centered yoga flow practice, which will strengthen your upper back and open across the front of your chest. It will culminate into Hanuman, which is great for your hamstrings. And remember that your heart chakra is also about the lungs, so the quality of air, movement, transitions from one pose to another, and perhaps a transition from one phase of your life to another. So it's all about taking a leap of faith, which requires a lot of trust. And so in this practice, you're embodying those elements. I hope that, that you experience that for yourself here today. Namaste. Let's start our practice in Anahatasana, which means heart melting pose. It's a little bit between downward facing dog and child's pose. So we'll keep our tail up in the air like down dog, but melt your elbows, chest, and forehead to the floor. You want your elbows to be only shoulder width apart, which isn't far. And if you're very flexible in your upper back or neck, you might instead bring your chin to the floor looking forward and you could bend your elbows, bringing the palms of your hands together above your head. Take a few sweet breaths into your chest and release anything from your day. Before we take our external back bends, just take a moment to open your heart, but to yourself. Notice what's on your chest today. Notice how your shoulders and triceps are feeling. We'll transition onto our belly. So as you snake forward, prong your fingertips wider than your mat, press your pelvis into the floor, and as you inhale, lift your chest, strange cobra. As you exhale, release back down to the floor. We'll do two more. Inhale to lift as high as your low back feels safe. Exhale, get longer as you fold. Last one's different. When you lift your chest, stay up, Dip the left shoulder forward and look over the right, a subtle twist. Inhale through center and exhale twist in the opposite direction. Come through center, hands to earth under shoulders, lift seat to heels, a brief child's pose, then to table, hands and knees, we'll meet in down dog, big breath. They say a flexible spine is a flexible mind. As you lower your knees to the floor for a moment, extend your right leg back and start to pulse forward and back through the heel, keeping your toes on the floor. We'll turn our left fingers either out to the left side wall or into your own knee joint. Intention here is to stretch across your wrist and forearm. We'll now hover those right toes, prong onto left fingers, and reach your left arm forward once you feel steady. Take a deep breath here, inhale. Exhale, dancing cat cow. Round right knee to nose, left elbow in. Inhale, reach, left arm forward, right arm back. Exhale, round and knee to nose. Inhale forward. Exhale to squeeze all the old air out. So there's space for the new on your inhale. Exhale to contract your core muscles. Inhale, breath floods you. Last couple cycles. This time when you kick back, reach forward, pause. Bend right knee, heel to sky, and swim your left arm behind you. Can you bind, holding your right foot with left hand? If you can, keep your tailbone drawing forward and down, but kick back, stretching through the left shoulder. This is called tiger pose. Let's stay for one last deep cycle of breath. And meet me back in table, hands and knees. Inhale, cow pose. Let your hips and heart lift. Exhale, cat pose, round your spine. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Last full cycle, just like that. And now find a neutral spine, not a cow or a cat tilt. Straighten your left leg and rock forward and back to stretch the arches of your feet and calf muscles. And turn your right fingertips either out on a clockwise or all the way in towards your knee. You can even micro bend the elbows, so stretching through the wrist and forearm.
When you're ready to lift your left toes, prong onto right fingertips. And when you feel your core contract to stay steady, reach your right arm forward. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, dancing cat cow. Round left knee to nose and right elbow into side rib cage. A few more. Inhale, kick back, reach forward. Exhale, round knee to nose. Inhale to reach for something you'd like and exhale to draw it into your center, your core. A few deep breaths in this dancing cat cow to balance mind as much as body to get focused. And from here, bend your left knee, swim your right arm behind you, see about binding. And if you can't find left foot with right hand, just mimic this shape of tiger pose with your body. You can always keep the left knee bent and just reach the right arm back. Keep your hips and shoulders facing forward as best you can. Stay for one last deep breath together. And return back to tabletop hands and knees. Inhale, cow pose, belly sways, lift heart. Exhale, cat pose. Then lift your hips back, downward facing dog. As you lift your heels high, tiptoe forward to a fold Uttanasana at the top of your mat. And let's set two fists between the inner ankles so your feet are only hip bone with distance apart. From here, left fingers to the earth, bend your left knee, sweep your right arm to the sky and straighten your right leg. Keep that twist, but try looking down, stretching through the right side of your neck for one last big breath. Inhale, halfway lift, right fingers to the floor, sweep your left arm up. And again, you might look down, loosen through your jaw, back teeth are slightly parted. And exhale, forward fold. Let's take a halfway lift, hands to shins. Stay in L shape, hands to hips. On your next breath, rise all the way up to standing and release your arms, mountain pose. Next inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. This is a heart salute, a little different than a sun salute. Halfway lift. Step right foot back, lower the knee down. On your inhale, reach both arms up. Ardha Hanuman, straighten your left leg and reach your hands to the back wall. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Lift your right, the back knee from the floor. Exhale, down dog. Place your hands down, then transition. Let's find a high plank pose on your inhale. Offering to lower your knees to the floor for three chaturanga push-ups. Inhale, bend your elbows. Exhale, straighten the arms. Two more, gazing a little forward and hugging elbows into side ribs. Next exhale, down dog. Inhale, sweep your right leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Now step your right foot forward, ankle under knee, left knee down. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, Ardha Hanuman, straighten left leg, arms to the back wall. Inhale, high crescent lunge, lift your left knee. Exhale, step forward, fold at the top of your mat. Let's take a halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, heavy head to bow. Feet are hip width, parallel, chair pose. Bend your knees, arms up. Let's stay in chair, just bend your elbows like they could touch behind you. Inhale, straight arms. Exhale, bend elbows. Let's take four more cycles just like that. The intention here is to squeeze your shoulder blades on your back, almost like a lat pull with every exhale. Exhale, forward fold. Let's take a halfway lift and step your left foot back, lower knee down lunge. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, Ardha Hanuman, you're digging right heel to the floor. Inhale, high crescent lunge. You could even take a back bend Hands to the mat, find down dog. Wave to high plank pose on your inhale. On or off the knees, lower either half or all the way down to your floor and find cobra by lifting your chest or up dog, which is like cobra, but your knees and thighs stay lifted. We'll stay here for an extra breath. 
and meat and down dog rolling over strong ankles and dexterous toes. Next inhale, sweep your left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Step through to your lunge, ankle under knee. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, straighten your left leg, digging your heel to the floor. Inhale, high crescent, hook your thumbs. Step forward this time, fold at the top of your mat. Take a halfway lift on your in-breath. Exhale, forward fold, let something go. Chair pose on your inhale, bend the knees, reach the arms up. Again, exhale like those lat pulls. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale to reach. Exhale as if you're shining your heart forward, little Care Bear stare. Last cycle to reach forward, this time forward fold. Halfway lift, in breath. Step right foot back, lower the knee down, lunge. Familiar here, arms up. Exhale, Ardha Hanuman. Draw your tail feathers to the back wall. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. High plank pose on your inhale. Exhale, low plank, maybe knees stay lifted this time. Upward facing dog or cobra, micro bend your elbows. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep your right leg up. Exhale, use your core to step forward to lunge, left knee lowers. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, straighten your right leg, hips slide back. High crescent lunge, hook the thumbs, lift your chest. Exhale, step forward to your fold. Take a halfway lift, heart forward. Exhale, no tension in your neck. Chair pose, inhale, reach the arms up. This time as you bend your elbows, try lifting onto the roots of your toes. Keep standing on your tippy toes as you take a few more cycles of those lat pulls. Here you're stretching out the arches of your feet and strengthening your ankles, which will support our balance later on. Last big cycle, inhale, reach forward, heels to the floor, forward fold. Give your low legs a push, halfway lift. Step left foot back, knee lowers lunge. Last heart salute, reach the arms up, inhale. Straighten right leg, arms back. High crescent lunge, hook your thumbs, lift your left knee. Downward dog, plant the hands and transition. High plank, ripple forward, inhale. Find the bottom of your exhale for low plank. Big breath for your up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog, press the earth away. Next inhale, sweep your left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Step through to your lunge, right knee down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, straighten left leg, hands back, belly to spine. Inhale, hook your thumbs, high crescent. Last time, step forward, fold, close the cycle. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Through chair pose, bend your knees, lift the arms up. Stand tall, hands to heart, and notice heart beating faster, your heart salutations have worked. Let's bend only the right elbow and the right knee heel to bum. Try to scoop up the inside arch of your right foot and lengthen your lower back. It's an easy dancer's pose as you start to kick your right leg into the wall that's behind you. Focus before you move into Dakasana Airplane, so our first transition. As you release the grip of your right leg, straighten that leg, bring both hands to your heart and micro bend your left knee so you can step all the way back to high crescent lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down, transition to three-legged down dog. Inhale, forward to three-legged high plank. Exhale, three-legged low plank. Back bend on the tops of both feet, and we'll meet in down dog, both feet on the floor. Step forward for warrior one. So connect your left back heel to the floor, and then reach the arms up. Again, bend those elbows, but this time lace fingers behind your lower back. Point your elbows to the back wall 
and start to slingshot your heart towards the sky, almost like camel pose if you're familiar with that one. Your thumb knuckles can even trail down your left hamstring. Inhale. Exhale, humble warrior. Bow inside your right leg, chin to chest, knuckles high to the sky. Offering to slide your right hip towards the back wall, so you're really anchored through the whole outer blade of your left foot, and your left heel is still to the floor, remember, so more like warrior as opposed to a lunge. On your next inhale, come all the way back up to warrior one pose. Sweep your arms up overhead. Straighten your right leg. Step your left foot in about halfway and try reaching for opposite elbow behind you or take a sneaky prayer behind your back. Fingers can point down or up. Exhale to hinge at the waist and bow into a hamstring stretch. Every inhale, try to lengthen your spine as much as your right hamstring. And remember to micro bend that right knee so there's no hyperextension protecting soft tissue behind your knee joint. As you lunge into your right leg, lift your left leg to cast an airplane second cycle. Let's take a deep breath here. Push through right foot to stand with your left knee to your chest and your hands in front of your heart. Take an inhale here. Exhale, foot to the earth, arms beside you, mountain pose. A second to ground, to feel both feet to earth beneath you. As you plant your right foot to the floor, bend left knee and scoop up again the inner arch of that left foot. Sling your left shoulder blade onto your back, lengthen through the tailbone, and move into an easy dancer's pose. Try to angle hips and heart forward, just like tiger pose from the start of class. As you soften the grip you have on your left foot, begin that transition into Dakasana or airplane. Straighten your left leg, bring hands to your chest, or you can always use them as little airplane wings or antenna. Spread those left toes and with them, take a leap of faith, find the back of your mat. Here you are in high crescent lunge. Exhale, three-legged down dog, right leg to the sky, three-legged high plank, inhale, three-legged low plank, exhale. Back bend on both feet for a neutral pelvis. We'll meet in down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Step it forward, warrior one. So remember, right back heel is onto the floor. Both hips and heart are still shining forward. Inhale, reach those arms up. Bend your elbows, lace fingers behind you. Try to get the opposite pinky finger on top. Bend your elbows, point them to the back wall. And as you lift your chest, even use your thumbs to lengthen through the lower back pubic bone draws up to low ribs. You could work straighter arms for a bicep stretch. Last inhale. Exhale, humble warrior. Dive inside left thigh, knuckles high to the sky. If this is too much for the shoulders, you could also keep the elbows bent and your hands touching your lower back. If this is tough for balance, you could instead put your hands to the floor beneath your shoulders. Nice thing here is that head is below the heart an opportunity to shake any extra thoughts right out of your mind and let your heart lead the way, at least for this next big breath. Inhale, come all the way back up, straighten left leg. Make that sneaky prayer behind your lower back or catch opposite elbows. And exhale, hinge at the hips to fold. Every inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, like your heart could touch your left big toe. Shifting weight forward, airplane, lift the right leg high into the sky behind you, strengthening right hamstring, glute, and low back. Let's stand tall, right knee to chest, hands to heart in front of the body, and exhale, just step down, Tadasana, mountain pose, big breath.
Bring your feet all the way together at the top of your mat. And on the inhale, sweep the arms up. Lift your heels. And as you exhale, move past chair pose into a little yogi squat, Pashasana. Widen your knees and place fingers to the floor. You can reach those hands far forward and come into a deep squat, breathing into your back. The second fold you could try here is an arm balance crow pose. So hands are to the floor, still just shoulder width apart. Your hips have to lift higher than your shoulders and knees will rest onto upper arms. Keep looking forward and trust that you can lean more weight to hands rather than feet. Even if your toes don't lift today, no effort is wasted. You're getting stronger in your chest and inner arms. Practicing courage for one last breath. If you can shoot or float back to low plank, do it. Or just step step back to high plank and meet me in downward facing dog. Take a slightly shorter down dog by stepping your feet about a paw print closer to your hands with your heels together and your toes pointing out. Leap your right leg to the sky. Stack your hips and bend your knee. As you look forward, prong to left fingertips. If that's enough, stay there. Or wing your left arm out beside you. Or can you bind, grab right foot with left hand and mimic the shape of tiger pose from the start of class. This is called tiger downward facing dog. Eventually you'll angle your hips and shoulders to face the top of your mat. Last big breath here. Step that right foot forward, warrior two pose. You might make sure that the heel of your front foot intersects the arch of left foot. Inhale, sweep the palm of your right hand up and reach up and back, exalted warrior. Left fingertips can land lightly behind you. They could wrap behind your lower back, half bind, and left hand could cup your skull for neck support, or lace fingers behind the back, Gomukhasana arms. Make sure that the right knee is tracking over the second toe and not caving or sickling in towards the center of your mat. Through warrior two, reach your right arm forward, elbow to knee, left arm beside the ear, extended side angle pose where you can stay or bend left elbow, reach your arm back. Turn the palm of the hand behind you and see about taking a full bind. Right shoulder stays inside the knee, wraps underneath thigh to hold left fingers or wrist behind you. A bind is a great opportunity to breathe into spaces you never knew you had and to get creative in making more space for yourself. Last big breath here. Exhale back to warrior two pose. And exhale, release fingertips to the earth. Lower your left, the back knee. Left fingers stay down. Let's twist, reaching your right arm up. You can stay here or bend left knee, heel to bum. Reaching your right arm back, another binding opportunity. You might hold left foot with right hand. You can either kick that left heel towards the back wall like you did in dancer's pose, or draw heel closer towards your back body. You can even slide your hips back towards the heel, or take any other variation of a quad or thigh stretch that you love. Just make sure that there's no pain or pressure in the knee joint. We're going for the medius part, the belly of your muscles here. Stay for one last breath. And then straighten over that right leg, Ardha Hanuman, like in our heart salutations at the start of class, or also walk your left knee towards the wall behind you, moving towards full Hanuman. You can get creative with using props, maybe putting one under your right, the front knee, or sitting down on a prop, especially with that right hip. So if you have a yoga block or a pillow at home, you could use that. Eventually, Hanuman becomes a huge back bend. So as you draw your tailbone forward, lean your heart back and up. Last big breath here. Slide right heel to the floor so you can re-bend the knee. 
Let's transition to downward facing dog and cycle through a vinyasa. High plank on your inhale, low plank exhale. Back bend on the in breath, downward facing dog, exhale. From here, we'll drop into a brief child's pose. Knees a little wide, forehead to the floor, rest hips back towards your heels. Send some big breaths into your lower and middle back. Focusing on the area that you'd like to send your breath is also a helpful meditation. From down dog, take a slightly shorter step, heels together, toes out. Let's sweep left leg to the sky, stack left hip over the right one, bend the knee, look forward. Can you prong to right fingers, reach the arm back, and maybe find your bind? In which case, reposition the hips so that they're facing forward as evenly with the shoulders. Instead of really arcing the back, try to keep your back relatively square or flat, just to protect the lumbar arch. Step that left foot forward, warrior two. Heel of left foot might intersect arch of right foot. Let's turn the palm of that left hand up and exalt your warrior. Reach up and back. Right fingers can be onto your lower leg. They can wrap behind you like a half bind. Left hand can cup your skull. Or again, go Mukhasana arms, whatever works. Keep your chin lifted from your chest and keep the front of your throat as open as the back of your neck is long. Through warrior two, reach forward through left side body till elbow and thigh touch. Sweep your right arm up overhead and either stay or bend right elbow reach to the wall behind you and turn that right palm back. From here, you might come into your full bind. If you can only reach onto fingertips, try bending your left knee a little more and you might be able to find your left wrist. Choices with the neck are to look forward, up, or if it feels safer on your neck to look down, you could do that instead. Last big breath. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, fingers to the earth, lower the right knee, and begin to straighten your left leg, Arda, half, Hanuman, monkey god pose. And as you bend your right knee, heel to bum, swim your left arm back behind you. And remember, if you can't bind, your right toes can always stay to the floor. You could keep the knee bent, right foot floating. Take any variation of a quad stretch you did on the other side. Fingers to the earth, straighten over left leg, Arda Hanuman, like the start of class or full Hanuman by walking your right knee also to the back wall. Eventually we want this to feel as much of a hamstring stretch as a quad stretch so that we don't overextend either muscle. And remember to micro bend your left to front knee so you don't hyperextend through the joint. If it feels good to take a deeper back bend, go for it, Hanuman, nice long legs. He let the length of an ocean in order to help a friend. When you're ready to slide that left heel back, space to come back to your lunge, step your left foot back to down dog. Inhale forward to high plank, exhale low plank, cycle through your vinyasa and we'll meet in down dog. On your inhale, sweep your right leg up. Again, stack your hips, bend your knee, and either stay here or take wild thing, right toes to earth behind left leg. Right arm can sweep by your ear. You might cup your skull. Big breath right into your heart. 
If you have a partridge pose, you could even find that here, drawing right heel to bum. Hold on to the outside edge of right foot with right hand. So it's almost like a horizontal dancer's pose. Hips are moving forward as you kick back to open through your bicep and the front of your chest. If you feel like you're gonna fall, you fall right back into wild thing pose. Right hand down, step your right knee outside the wrist, pigeon pose. I like to make sure that the left, the back knee is pointing straight down to the floor so the cartilage of your kneecap patella doesn't twist or roll. You could stay here or take another thigh stretch by bending your left knee, heel to bum, swimming left arm behind you and either kicking back like dancer's pose or sliding heel deeper towards your back body. And if there's a different variation, you have a half bind, left foot to left elbow crease, right arm up and over, maybe lacing fingers behind you. This is known as mermaid pose. If you full, have full ekapada, raja, kapatasana in your practice, move into the full bind, king pigeon pose. If you've taken a very big back bend here, just take a few breaths in a forward fold, again breathing into your lower and your middle back. Careful with your right knee as you transition. Sit on your right hip and swing your left leg forward and out. I'll cheat to face the widest edge of the mat, Janu Shirshasana. From here, take your right hand to earth behind you, and as you lift your seat, left foot to earth, exhale, reach right arm to the outer left foot. A few more, right hand down, lift your seat. This is gate pose. Exhale, sit down and reach. Right hand to opposite foot. Last full cycle, inhale, more of a side bend that turns into a little upper back bend. And exhale, that's forward fold. And think less about a hamstring stretch. Breathe more into the right back rib cage. So these are the muscles that get tight when we do a lot of back bending, which we did in today's practice. So give those muscles some love. When you're ready to come up, cross left ankle over the right. If you still have the pep to shoot back to low plank, cycle through your vinyasa or swing your legs out from under you and meet me in down dog. Inhale, left leg up, bend your knees, stack the hips and maybe flip wild thing, left toes to earth behind right leg. You're on the outer right foot and left toes. If you took partridge on one side, pick up your left foot and see if you can find the bind. You can also micro bend the right, the bottom knee to get as much as your foundational, the right foot to the floor as you can. We'll meet in pigeon, lower left leg forward towards the top of your mat. The exact angle of your front leg is pretty unique to the shape of your body. It's okay if left heel is deeply towards right groin you could move it forward so lower leg is more parallel to the top of your mat. If you took any deeper variations on one leg, make it as symmetrical as you can here. Even if that means taking some extra breaths into this hip, if you took mermaid pose, it's almost like you're trying to lift your pelvis up and away from the earth. So lifting your pelvic floor, mula bandha. Same thing goes for full king pigeon, ekapada raja kapatasana, or queen pigeon for one last big breath. Make sure that you take a few cycles of breath in a forward fold. And if you have a yoga block, you could put it under your heart or forehead or hug a pillow so you can release any tension from your shoulders and your neck. Let's sit on that left hip and extend your right leg out at an angle. 
gate pose to start. Left hand down, lift your hips. Exhale, sit down and reach. Left hand to your outer right foot. A few more cycles to lift on the inhale and to lower on your exhale. When you lift, you're still rooting the tailbone forward and down, lengthening your lower back. And next time you sit down and take your forward fold, remember that you can bend your right knee as much as you need to to hold any part of your foot, ankle, or shin. Intention is to round especially the middle back a little bit. Think about puffing up that area with breath. When you're ready to come up, simply bend both knees. Feet stay together, let your knees fall wide apart. And as you inhale, move your chest forward, exhale, lean your heart back. Next time you lean forward, keep that length to your lower back, but round the upper back. It's almost like the top of your head could rest in the soles of your feet. And don't worry if that day is not today. Walk your hands towards the left, breathing to right side body. And then change sides, walk your hands to the right. Breathe into the left side of your low back, side back, and right underneath the shoulder blades. Once you round your spine up through center, tuck your knees together and roll all the way down onto your back. Arms can be nice and wide apart. Supta Baddha Konasana with knees wide for a few breaths. We're transitioning into a two knee twist of your choice. I like to hug the knees together and roll from side to side on the lower back. Eventually, when the knees roll to the right, knees will roll all the way down to the floor. Try to keep your left shoulder on the floor. Even if the knees stay lifted, you could always put a yoga block or a pillow under the bottom. That's your right knee. If there's a deeper twist, you could take that here. I like to straighten the top left leg, holding any part of the foot with right leg. You could even bend the right bottom knee heel to bum and hold onto that foot with left hand. This is known as cat pulling its own tail. <laughs> When you're ready to transition, look up, bend your left knee, and then drop both knees back through center. Again, you can wash your knees from left to right, rolling to either side on your lower back. And then wash your knees all the way over to the left this time. You can stay in this simple two knee twist. Just make sure it's even with whatever you did on the other side. You could straighten your top, that's your right leg. And I like to keep that leg lifting instead of touching the floor. So I hold on to any part of that right leg I can with the left hand. Remember you can bend your bottom knee too, so it's a little bit of a quad stretch. Every inhale, think about lengthening your spine. And then on the exhale, you're rotating from your belly button. Nice to rinse out the muscles that supported your spine and our back bends today. Nice to release the internal organs. They get a good massage every time we twist. Look up and bend right knee when you're ready to come out of your twist. We're setting up for Shavasana, and that might be as simple as just straightening the legs, give your toes a wobble to release the lower back. You could tuck shoulders underneath the heart. And notice this open quality you've created for yourself. An open heart requires a little bit of trust. You've taken a leap of faith, and it's gotten you here. Space to relax, so stay and enjoy for as long as your schedule allows. 
Whenever you're ready to transition into the rest of your day, you could stay for a brief seated meditation. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.